Hello, welcome to the first super Mexi cooking show. Today you and I are gonna take the snap challenge. What's the snap challenge, you might ask? Liberal politicians and other pendejos are attempting to elicit sympathy for people who receive SNAP benefits. That's the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program. By trying to live on $31.50 a week or $4.50 a day. Sounds tough, doesn't it? It's really tough when you're a politician fat cat who's never balanced a checkbook, much less a budget. These are their tragedies. First, you go shopping for the week. Don't forget to stage a sad, pathetic photo op about how sad you are. Why aren't our groceries in bags? Anyway. You post your receipt as evidence. Don't forget the tiny violins. If you're a congressman, you whine about how stupidly you spent your money. Doris Matsui had a boiled egg and dry toast for breakfast. Dry toast. Massachusetts Representative McGovern had a cheese wrap and a carrot for breakfast. Dude, can you heat that up for two minutes and make a quesadilla? Come on! Then there's Donald Payne. Poor guy, whines about having five cups of water, no Mountain Dew. He's in pure hell. I do approve of the super meal, though. Look at this pathetic picture of John Liu. He's sitting in his limousine while an aide takes a picture of him supping nobly from a soup can. Who does that? This idiot bought two organic bananas at Whole Foods for 62 cents. Get out of Whole Foods. You can buy a dozen bananas at that price. You get the feeling they're not really trying very hard. My favorite by far goes back to Donald Payne. On the first day of his snap challenge, he bought a hard boiled egg. One egg for a dollar and eight cents. One egg for one oh eight. You can buy a dozen eggs for a buck twenty nine. These are your representatives, America. Since so many gringos have demanded my recipe for super Mexi taco, I thought I'd help out these poor starving wretches taking the snap challenge at the same time. Let's get started. Here's my receipt. Well under the thirty one dollar challenge. So let's start with an onion, some peppers, mushrooms, ground beef, and a lemon. First off, cut up your veggies. Uh, dude, no, dude, dude, don't be stupid. Come on, what, what's wrong with you? No, no, not like that. Ah, that's better. Just to show you how easy this is, I'm not even going to use my stove. I'm going to use an electric skillet. Put about a tablespoon of olive oil in there and toss in your veggies. Now, cut up some of your mushrooms. Stir it up. Use whatever seasonings you have. I like a garlic salt and taco seasoning in mine. Stab your lemon in half. Here comes a good part. Remember, keep washing your hands. Don't be a filthy liberal. We're not even going to use the whole pound, probably about a twelfth of it. Cut that sucker open. Now make room in your skillet. And slap that meat in there. You're going to want to break it up. You don't want big chunks because uh, you want to get your meat to a good enough internal temperature. a little more seasoning on there. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna have tons of meat left over. Wrap it up, stick it in the freezer. This is smelling pretty amazing right now. My neighbors are salivating. Now let this cook for a few minutes. Towards the end, you're gonna want to squeeze about half a lemon right in there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ten tortillas for a dollar? And stab some tomatoes and lettuce, grab your cheddar, heat a tortilla. You don't have to leave it cooking for too long, I like mine a little crispy. And shove that into your tortilla. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Grate your cheese. Do not buy it pre-grated if you're trying to budget. And throw a little salsita on there. Oh yeah. Cholula is actually a little expensive. You could get cheaper salsa. 
and we're almost done. Put some lechuga, or as gringos call it, lettuce, and a little bit of tomate, or as gringos call it, tomato. You're gonna have tons of this made. Stick it in a Ziploc bag. Put it in the freezer. Mmm. -hmm. Cheap and nutritious. So now let's look at the numbers. Here's a list of our ingredients. And here's how much they cost. You add them up, it's $21.49, but we didn't use every single part of each ingredient. When you calculate how much of each one we used, for instance, the ground beef, we used about a twelfth of that. It comes to 440, well below the daily snap challenge limit. Throw in another few tortillas and you got enough for a few days. Cook up the rest of it, you had enough for a week. So quit your crying and eat your taco.